The following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. They were supposed to do this about six hours ago, but let's do this now. My name is Ron Chuckett. Welcome to the 1988 National Football League season. And we start, as we always do, at the start of a project by featuring the most recent champions in their opening day game. And for this, it would be the Washington Redskins. Who do they get to open at home on a Thursday night like you would now? No. Do they get to open at home at all? No. Where do the Redskins defend their Super Bowl championship or to start the season? Well, they did get a Monday night game. That was very sweet of the National Football League to do for one of its premier franchises. But where do they send them? To New York to play the Giants. Which doesn't break my heart any because I'm a Giant fan. So that's it. We're going to be using Pro Strategy Football 24. If you like the game, like what you see then we'll keep doing this. And uh, th th no no studio stuff or anything like that, at least during the game. So we're going to see how long it takes to play a game and um, show off some gameplay. And, of course, you know, maybe the Giants will actually win. But you never know. So it's the Redskins and the Giants next on Retro Sports Network. Stop doing it. As Retro Sports Network presents the 1988 NFL replay. Today, from Giants Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, it is the Washington Redskins and the New York Giants. And tonight's game is brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else fine podcasts are listed. I'm doing fine, Saz. How are you? Thanks for the follow. So here we go. Yeah, Pesky Paul, you're 14. So this is your pony year then, isn't it? Uh, now, I know you grew up here. So you Bills fan? Let's go. All right. So Redskins in white, Giants in blue. We won the, run the 1,000 Sims here. Yeah. And... The Giants are favored by seven. You might jump on later, okay? So the Giants are, are favored by seven, and the over-under is 35. Interesting. Oh, well, thanks for the follow. I do appreciate that. Giants in blue, Redskins in white. It is a clear night here in the swamps with a very strong wind blowing. You'd think they were playing in East Rutherford or something like that. You were never a diehard Bills fan. Who'd you root for growing up? We go with expert. So the Giants offense is a four, is rated 68, Washington 64. Or team, the Giants, off, Giants are four points better. Offense, they're equal. Defense is where the Giants are stronger. Special teams are both not very good. Come on, Skins. Okay. So New York has won the toss. And the Giants will receive. Chip Lomeller to kick it off. And this replay is underway. A high end over and kick. Taken and the end zone. Or actually, it's a touchback. Touchback. So the Giants will get it. Ah, you want to be Joe Montana, you quarterback, you. You want to be him. So the Giants have it on offense. First and ten, short yardage line plunge. Where's Jimmy Hoffa? You know, for a long time, they thought that he was going to be in one of the end zones. It'd be the one that we were just kicking off to, but they didn't find him. Power right. Counter right. Big Dave Selinski, how are you? First play from scrimmage from the 20-yard line. Sims gives it to Morris, and Morris is leveled by Monty Coleman for a one-yard gain. Saz Bet, where are you from? So it'll be, we'll do that. 
Short pass to Lionel Manuel is the call. That's what I'm hearing in my ear. And so the Giants will go with that from their 21. Sims back to throw. Manuel has it. He got a gain of four before Alvin Walton will make the tackle. Third down and five. See what they can. Is this the new version? Yes, this is the new version released yesterday. And these are part of the new mods. The mods from 1940 through 1990 are done. And if you check my YouTube channel, I showed you how to use the mods. All right, first or third down and five for the Giants. Going to go for a wide receiver set. Short pass to Turner. Are we going with that? Yeah, we'll go with that. Morris alone setback. Odessa Turner, the intended receiver. Sims goes. Od Odessa has it. Todd Bowles makes the tackle for a gain of five. It's first and ten for the Giants. Let's see. Counter right to Mo. No. Counter right to Joe Morris. Giants in a power eye left. They spot it at the 30. Sims to Morris. I think somebody moved. Morris gets a little bit of room. Nobody moved. Three-yard gain. Neil Oklowitz bakes the tackle. Yep, uh, the mods are there for the 40s through the 90s, and their hope is, pesky poll, to have everything up by the end of the weekend. So it'll be second and seven for the Giants. We're not doing a short pass. We're going long. With Stephen Baker on a post pattern. Sims is ready. 12 and a half to go in the opening quarter. Man in motion. He takes a seven-step drop. Goes over the middle of Stephen Baker. And that's incomplete. Third down and seven to make a decisions on the product, on the project. Well, this is what I was going to do in second and ten. And if you guys like it, we'll do it here because it's purdy. Third down and seven for the Giants. Medium pass to Bavaro is the call. Single setback will be Joe Morris. Sims under center from the 33. Has time, has all day, as a matter of fact. Bavaro comes back to get it, but there's a fumble, and the Redskins recover at the 41. The only indication was the Redskins started to celebrate. Can't blame this one on Sims. It's caught. Bavaro had it, and it must have been stripped right away. So Washington will take over on their own 41-yard line. So Doug Williams coming off his Super Bowl championship. Counter left to Timmy Smith is the first call. Hut, hut. Calvin Bryant in the backfield with him. Smith gets around the corner and is hit by Mark Collins after a gain of three. Let's see who's hurt. 81 career project. I haven't played with the career stuff with this. Do the Gardner's already calling in plays. Steve Young will never exist. You can keep him in Tampa, right? Mark May is the one that's hurt. Oh, by the way, he'll be coming back. R.C. Thielman is coming in at right guard. So. Second and seven for the Redskins. They go with a short pass to Ricky Sanders being the call, and we'll just go with that. Williams, Kelvin Bryant in the backfield. Doug goes near side to Sanders, has it, and it's a first down, and it's a gain of seven. Is he on Tampa? Yeah, he was still in college. I think he was still Jim McMahon's understudy at BYU in 81, wasn't he? So Washington with a strong wind at their back as they're kicking as they're going towards the Jimmy Hoffa end of the stadium. Long pass to McEwen, not in a gazillion years. Counter right to Kelvin Bryant being the call on first and ten from the Giant 31. Bryant gets second about down. two. Uh, they're going to give him one. Pepper Johnson with the tackle, second and nine. As we said, both of these teams are even offensively. The Giants' defense is better. Ah, going to go drop off your kid. Is he a quarterback, too? 
basketball legend that he is. Second nine for the Redskins from the Giant 30. They're going to go a pitch left. All right, because Gardner's being good, we'll do a reverse. Ricky Sanders from the Giant 30 is the call. Four wide receivers. Williams gives it to Ricky, turns the corner, gets a first down to Moore. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Well, that worked. Someone in Sorgas is smiling like crazy right now. Ricky Sanders got around and got a 30-yard run. Touchdown! You don't say. Yeah, you were right. No, the second oldest. He plays defensive tackle on JV. Nice. He's gonna. He's only in the ninth grade. Well, good luck to him. You know, weird having kids old enough to be doing this stuff. So four plays, 41 yards after the fumble by Bavaro, and the Redskins go up six nothing. How you doing, Steeler fan? So a 98% chance here for Low Miller. Let's do the audio here. Uh, there. Low Miller attack on the extra point. Mark Rippin to hold it. And Low Miller boots it through. Hey, with five, almost five minutes gone here in the first quarter, it's 7 0 Washington. Yeah, you like being able to set the formations and pick the ball carrier. Computer calls a decent game. We can add to it. By the way, we're just doing this game. We'll send the rest of them after. Redskins will kick deep. Low Miller from his 35 boots it away. Another high end over end kick. Taken by the Giants this time. That's going to be a touchback. That's going all the way back. So the Giants will start first and 10. Mark May, by the way, has recovered. And the Giants want to do a trap with Joe Morris over center. Mike, Mike from the truck is watching, but he's not listening. Shh. So first and 10 from the Giant 20. Give us to Morris from Sims. And Joe runs into Neil Oklowitz for a three-yard gain. Second down and seven for New York. Their second series of the ball game. And the wind is in their face. So Morris on a trap. Yeah, I'll go with that. Second down, Sims again to Morris. Morris tries to turn the corner and gets back to the line of scrimmage before gaining one before Big Dave Butts can make the tackle. Third down and six. He'll have to go to the air this time. They'll go in a pro set and Lionel Manuel on a short pass. They will go play action here. Carthon is in the backfield with Joe Morris. Sims under center, waits, throws, Manuel can't get it, and the Giants will be forced to punt on fourth and six. Monty Coleman with a good defense there. So the Giants will punt. Maury Buford is back on his seven-yard line. Maury gets it away, finds the father. Short kick. Taken by Allen at the 45-yard line. No return. 31 yards, and the Redskins are in good shape here as they already lead it 7-0. 9-0-1 to go. Williams is going to let this rip to Art Monk. And Sealer fan likes big butts, and he cannot lie. <laughs> Tight formation. Man in motion, Williams, Giants blitz, has time, finds Bryant, and Kelvin on a screen gets a first down over the 40, 35 yard line. For a gain of 21, Carl Banks makes the tackle. Long pass to the halfback, so he took the hot read. The Giants were playing the run, and now it worked. 
8.55, clock running here. Medium pass to Art Monk. Single setback is Kelvin Bryan. And Williams, man in motion, sets. No pressure, throws, and there's a flag down. I right, going to be Lawrence Taylor on the defense, and I would imagine that that's going to be pass interference by Lawrence Taylor. However, first, before we get to that, Jeff Bostick got his bell rung. Ding! R.C. Thielman, who's already done some time as one of the linemen, now comes in at center. Interference. Yeah. Defense. So Lawrence Taylor was a little bit too early on the defense there, and the Redskins will take it. So first and 10 from the Giant, 21. Long pass to McEwen. Really? How about we send that to Ricky Sanders instead? Bryant will block. First and 10 for the Redskins on the Giant, 21. Williams back to throw, looking in the end zone. Incomplete. Nearly intercepted by Terry Kennard. So second and 10. In a run. Kelvin Bryant out of the eye here. Pitch it to the near side for Kelvin. Williams gets it to Bryant, and Kelvin is nailed for a two-yard loss. So the Giants are stiffening up here. It'll be third down and 12 with Washington with a seven run with a seven point lead. Seven run lead. It's baseball season, right? No. Jeff Bostick has recovered. Illegal block. Oh. Well, not only did they get nothing out of it, they had an illegal block on the way. So it'll be second and 20 for Washington. Kelvin Bryant will run the same thing. Go Dodgers. Would someone want to check to see if Mr. Howard's tapioca is properly warmed? So Bryant, a pitch to the near side, 8.05 to go. Motion going the other way. Bryant across the 30 to the 20. He won't get 20 yards, but he gets 14. Sheldon White with a tackle. So third down and six. So a good play by the Redskins here. They want a draw to Bryant. Nope. We'll throw it. The wife grappling with the groceries. Bryant on a screen to the far side. That's the call anyway. Williams has time, goes to Bryant. He's hit at the line of scrimmage. In fact, he loses a yard, so out will come the kicking team here. With a wind at their back. So it'll be Chip Lowmiller. This will be from 35 yards. Mark Rippon will be the holder. You're actually at the goat farm at 90 degrees? That's really hot for you guys, and it's late in the year, too. Low Miller from 35 to give him a 10-point lead. It is long enough. It looks good. And Jimmy Hoffa says it is good. So with 6.45 to go in the opening stanza, five plays, 37 yards. It's the Washington Redskins 10, the New York Giants nothing. Yeah, record temps, I would think so. My goodness. So let's see what the Giants can do this time. Low Miller has kicked two touchbacks. Another high end over, and this will be returnable. Hill from the goal line to the 10, 20, gets around the block. And Kenny Hill is hit at the 23. So that's where the Giants will take over. We didn't actually have done any introductions here. Phil Sims, of course, the quarterback. Joe Morris, the lone setback here. The line for the Giants. Oates, the center. Riesenberg and Roberts, the tackles. Moore, the rookie, and Ard, the guards. Manuel and Turner, Ingram and Baker, the wide receivers. Redskins play a 4-3. It'll be Butts and Grant, the tackles. Mann and Dexter, mainly the ends. The linebackers, Okowitz and Caldwell, Walton and Bowles. The safeties, Wilburn and Green. That's Dale Green, the corners. And Davis, the nickelback. Who will not be doing a concert at the half. So medium pass to Ingram is the call. 
Giants starting from their own 23. 6.33 to go in the opening quarter. Sims Rush throws to the sideline. Ingram's got it first down. A gain of 15 before Butts made the tackle. The Redskins were playing for the run. The Giants put it in the air. Short pass? No. Morris on the draw. Giants will show pass. From the 38. Give to Joe. Joe gets through the line, but not much more than that. Barry Wilburn with the tackle. After a gain of two, it'll be second and eight for the Giants. Halfback trap. Okay. Pro set. Mo Carthon comes in the backfield. Morris again. And he gets the carry, and he'll get three yards. So it'll be third down and five. The Giants really not moving the football all that well. They go in the air this time. Nope. Navarro on a medium pass is the call. Man in motion, Sims ready. Flushed and sat by Monty Coleman who got around. They double teamed the wide receiver and will force the punt because the Giants just aren't moving the ball at all. In fact, they ran it three times on that drive for nothing. So more of Buford back to punt for the Giants. 4.05 to go. Gets a high punt. And that will roll out of bounds for, for 30 yards. Again, another bad punt by Maury Buford. Dave went to high school with Mark Bavaro. Really? Ricky Sanders on a short pass is the call. We'll take that lone setback as Kelvin Bryant. Williams has time. He's got Sanders, but only for four in a possession type pass. Mark Collins with the stop. Clock running here. Latter stages of the first quarter. Kelvin Bryant on a trap. Strong side left here is the offense. Man in motion to the right. Williams gives it to Bryant. He gets a hole and a first down. He's brought down for a gain of eight. Terry Kennard made the tackle as soon as he got in the secondary. First and ten. Pitch right to Timmy Smith. Okay, we'll take that. Williams barks out the signal. Smith and Bryant in the backfield. Give it to Smith. Timmy gets around one tackler, but not a second. Pepper Johnson with the stop after a gain of three. It'll be second and seven for Washington on their own 47. Remember the strong wind at their back. Long pass to Ricky Sanders. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Two tight end set for Washington. Warren and McEwen. Gary Clark is the other wide receiver. Ricky Sanders the target here. Kelvin Bryant the lone setback. Dougie. Has time. Goes down to the sideline. Sanders has it and is knocked out of bounds at the giant 30. Let's watch this again. Williams just to the near side. Sanders got around coverage and stepped out of bounds. 2.06 to go. So Washington... You see why they are the defending Super Bowl champions. Bryant on a line plunge. Okay, we'll try it. They're in field goal range for Low Miller. Bryant gets two. Harry Carson makes the tackle. Second down and eight for the Redskins. Latter stages of the first quarter. Timmy Smith on a pitch left. Williams. Goes to Smith to the far side. Timmy gets around a hole. And Lawrence Taylor will bring him down for a gain of four. So the last minute here of the first quarter. And the Redskins in field goal range. 
We'll do a what? Ricky Sanders on a medium pass? We've got Gary Clark on a medium pass. Four wide receivers for the Redskins. Gary Clark is going to be the intended receiver here. Williams under pressure throws, and lucky that wasn't picked off by Pepper Johnson. So this drive will end with a field goal attempt. A 71% chance of Low Miller. This being from 41 yards. Rippins hold. Low Miller is up. And that is, is that good? It's wide left. Oh, Miska Muska Mousketeer. Low Miller missed that one to the left. Jamie in there singing Hail to the Redskins. Fight for old DC. So seven plays, 44 yards, all for naught, as the Redskins can't score. So five seconds left. In the first quarter, Morris on a line plunge, just to end the thing. Giants from the 24. Morris stopped at the 29, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. Yep. If you watched the video I did last night, <laughs> yeah, the kicking curse is real. I did a, just a few minutes of a Washington-Cleveland game, and Washington's kicker missed a nine-yarder. I was impressed. Fifteen minutes in the books, it's the Redskins 10, the Giants nothing. So this has been a pretty dominant quarter for Washington. Doug Williams, five for seven for 54 yards. Bill Sims, four for six for 32. Joe Morris, the only one for the Giants to have touched the ball on the ground. Seven carries, 18 yards. Meanwhile, Gardner's call for the uh, reverse work that was a lone touchdown for Washington. So, second quarter now, second down and five for the Giants on their own 29. Mo Carthon on a power eye right. All right, let's give her a go. Sims to Carthon, and Mo is going to be about a yard short. Monty Coleman with a tackle. It'll be third down and one. So what do they want to do here on third down and short? Let's pass. No, I'm just doing this one game. Let's go line a manual on a medium pass. Sims. Back to throw as all day, and that's intercepted and fumbled. Barry Wilburn, how you doing, Bernie? Made the interception and then he fumbled it. So here it is in slow motion. It was Doug Grant, and he was hit, and then there was the fumble. So the Redskins recover this time with the Giant 33. Monty Coleman is down. They're going to tape his ankle. Mel Kaufman coming in at left outside linebacker. So first and 10 from the Giant, 37. Four wide receivers. They want to score, and they want to score right now. Art Monk in the end zone is what they're looking for near side. Williams. As all day, looking for Monk. He's got it at the 16-yard line. Perry Williams will made the tackle. This is not the start the Giants wanted. Bernie likes this game a lot so much better than last year's version. And Jimmy remembers Barry Wilburn. Your brother would get frustrated and call him Barry Will Be Burned. <laughs> 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 
First and ten from the Giants, 16. There's going to be a pitch to Kelvin Bryant to the right side. Williams does. Kelvin gets around the block and is brought down for a three-yard gain, but there's a penalty on the play, and it's going to be against the Giants. It's a face Defense. Now, that's funny. He's at work right now, but is refing my game. So that is Mike from the truck. It'll be first and goal for Washington on the Giant 8. Sanders on a short pass. Okay. Let's do some play action, though. Giant defense is tiring here. 13.36 to go in a half. Quick throw to Ricky, and it's a gain of two before Leonard Marshall can make the tackle. Third down, or second and goal coming up. Pitch right to Timmy Smith. You know, run behind McEwen is the plan here. Smith has it, gets turns the corner. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think this is getting called back, but we'll give Timmy his due. I bet this is a hold on the allow that. What's the call? Ooh. So it'll be second and goal from the Giants, 16. Take the points off the board and back them up 10. So on second down, twin set. Bryant on the draw is the call. Williams hands off to Bryant. Giants didn't read it to the 10-5. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. No flags, and that was the right call. Giants just left the middle of the field wide open, and once Bryant broke the contain, there wasn't anything anybody could do. So it's 16-0. Monty Coleman will return. So four plays, 37 yards, and even the penalties couldn't deter the Redskins on this opening night in New York. Low Miller into the win, by the way. 95% chance. Works for me. 12.47 to go in the first half. It's the Redskins 17, the Giants nothing. So Low Miller this time kicking to the left end. That's a short kick that'll be taken by Hill at the 7 to the 20. And he's brought down at the 26, 18 yards on the return. So Morris on a sweep left is the call. Sims barks it out. Morris... Wow, I thought he was going to be tackled for a loss. He somehow got three as Dexter Manley is the one that brought him down. So second and seven coming up for the Giants. They're down 17-0. Morris to the right. Okay. Sims, Morris over the 30. He won't get the first down, but he will get a gain of four before Charles Mann can make the play. Bernie says the AI for pro strategy football is much improved. The video is smoother. The large data files can be placed in another drive other than the C drive. You can switch control of teams at any time. I'm sure there's more, but you've been only playing for one day. Third down and three for the Giants. And short pass to line of manual. See, the Giants would never run a trip. You don't because the Giants' best pass receiver is Mark Bavaro. Going to try a little out to Lionel Manuel here on third down. Sims has time. Manuel, now it's all about forward progress, and he's got it. So a gain of three. Wilbur Marshall with the tackle. It'll be first and ten for the Giants. It's probably their best drive of the ball game. They want to go for the home run to Stephen Baker. Okay, we'll try it. Sims under center, Baker up top. Phil 
has all day. He looks for Baker up top, who's open at the 40 and can't come down with it. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a penalty on the play, and it's going to be against the Giants. Todd Bowles, by the way, with the defense. And somehow Celine Dion and the middle schoolers have come in and it's holding on the Giants, or the, and the Redskins will accept. So it'll be first and 20 for New York on their own 26. Jamie thinks the AI has improved a bit. It is by far the most fun to watch streamed. Uh, yeah, that's why this is a test. If you like the, the way this looks, then we'll do 88 this way. Scotty says, shout out to Mike and the truck and the other monitors who are a big part of making this game so special. It looks fantastic. Screen to Mars is what they want to do. First and 20, so it's not a bad call. Smith to the far side. Morris has it over the 30, 35, 40. He's going to get the first down and more over midfield. 40. 30, he's brought down at the 31, a gain of 42 before Brian Davis saved a touchdown. How about that on first and 20? So Sims to Morris, and Morris just trucked right down the field. Yeah, the graphics are incredible. So how about that? What a play. They are actually in field goal range if they can't get it any further. Mo Carthon on a line plunge. Okay. Power eye left. Carthon the first man through when he gets a tough yard before Dave Butts makes the tackle. Pro set. Morris off tackle right is the call on second and nine. Sims hands off. Morris is brought down after a gain of two. Wilbur Marshall with the stop third and seven for the Giants with about nine to go here in the first half. Bernie says the other game that streams well is second and ten, which was my other thought of doing that. And... Mike, who's done yeoman's work with this, pointed this out in the modding video I posted last night. Compilation leagues and the all-time greats should be out tomorrow. People are going to ask about the modern seasons. Any timetable on that? And no, not the 1980s are not modern seasons. Nine, or uh, 8.41 to go. They're going to go third and seven manual on a... We'll go Ingram here. Ingram on a slant. Is he going to get seven out of that, though? Sims under center. Has time. He's got Stephen Baker, but it's going to be short. So a gain of five, but anything, hopefully this weekend, I'm being told, for all the seasons. So, so many seasons. But the 40s through the 90s. So you can listen to Betty Goodman through Nickelback today. All your fresh favorites, all the time, on Sunny Radio. So fourth and two for the Giants. So here's Paul McFadden, Jeff Hostetler. Mike is producing the news on TV. Hostetler to hold. This will be from 41 yards. 8.07 to go in the half. McFadden gets it down. I don't think it's going to come back, is it? I think that snuck through. It did. And so the Giants are on the board. Eight plays, 50 yards. And it took 4.46 off the clock. So with 8.01 to go in the first half, it's the Redskins 17, the Giants 3. So McFadden making his first kick of the, day, of the season. Booms that one deep. And that will be a touchback. Mike from the truck does not actually work from a truck. And he tells me he's directing, not producing. Get three ready, take three. 
Yep, play pro strategy football and break out your Time Life music collection. How you doing, I'm Michelle Elvis. Much love to you too, thank you. And how much do the mods cost? Well, you'd think a collection like this would cost at least $79.95. Walmart would have it for $39.95, but the actual cost, it's free. F-R-E-E. -E. Kelvin Bryant in a trap. Two tight end set. That's a heavy jumbo set for Washington. We'll try it. And Bryant gets, breaks contain a little bit, gets a gain of four before Carl Banks can make the tackle. The mod community is what makes this game. Of course, Carrie Bats Sessions presents Uncle Ron's Greatest Hits. Ow. Yeah, a better deal than the RCA one penny record deal provided you buy seven regular albums at regular price in the next six months. Counter left to Bryant. Okay, second and six for Washington. Give to Bryant. Kelvin is hit for a gain of two. Jim Burt with the tackle. 17-3 skins lead here halfway through the second quarter. Third down and four. We'll leave that formation. But Gary Clark will be the receiver on a medium pass. Everhat, how are you? 648 to go. Williams under center. Doug will get back to throw a seven-step drop. Clark is open in the middle of the field and makes the catch for 10 yards. Kenny Hill, the giant return man, made the tackle. Giants blitzed and the line picked it up. So Pitch right to Brian out of a pass formation. Oh, I know. The Iowa Columbia house some money. Brian to the right. So the far side for you gets a block. It is hit at the 39 for a gain of three. Pepper Johnson with the tackle. Can you create fictional players for fictional leagues? I believe you can. I know there's a career thing. The chief modder is in the chat. He'd be able to tell you, Amish. So it'll be second down and seven for Washington. Bryant on a pitch left. Two tight end set. McEwen and Warren in the ball game. Williams pitches to the near side. And Bryant is brought down just as he got the football by Lawrence Taylor. Talk about anticipation. Bryant... Just didn't know what he was going to do, and it's a loss of four. Third down and 11. So screen to Bryant. Nope. Brother Jamie. And Mike says you can come create your own, and fictional pro and colleges included. Jamie Morris on a screen. Third down and 11 from their own 35. Morris, the rookie, makes the catch over the 40 before being greeted in the NFL by one Lawrence Taylor. Fourth down and six, and the Redskins are going to be forced to punt. So Coleman back for his first punt. The Redskins have been very efficient. A low line drive that's very short. McConkey has it, and he's hit at the 40 after a gain of eight. So Greg Coleman not doing any better than Maury Buford. A 28-yard punt. First and 10 for the Giants, 4.03 to go. Pitch left to big brother Joe on first and 10. That's the call anyway. We'll leave it. Sims barks it out. Morris has, hesitates, and that will cost him as he only got a gain of one before being forced out of bounds. So second and nine for the Giants. Short pass to Manuel the call. Let's make that medium to Bavaro. So Sims with Carthen and Morris in the backfield. 3.34 to go in the half. 
Sims waits, has all day. Now he doesn't. He's flushed. He runs around and is finally sacked by Neil Oklowitz for a loss of 11. And so watch this Chinese fire drill. Sims tried to buy as much time as he could. There was nobody open. And by the and Oklowitz just ran him down. It'll be third down and twenty for New York. With the clock running. He tried. Yeah, he did. They're gonna go on a long pass to Baker, see if they can convert it on third down and twenty. Three to go in the first half. Sims has all day this time. He goes near sideline for Baker. And Baker couldn't come up with that. Good defense. So Sims just unstraps the helmet and shakes his head. Bill Parcells has a few words, none of them kind. Thomas Elvis. Oh! Gifted a sub to Mike from the truck. That's awful sweet of you. So Maury Buford is back to punt. Washington has time to score again. There's three minutes to go. High snap to Buford. And then again, that's a better punt because he's punting downwind. That's a great punt as a matter of fact. And Allen, well, after a 51-yard punt, fair catch at the 19. Do I have the player size set to small? Nope, normal. Normal. And the smoothest animation you can find. Dave uses the larger player so he can see the logos better. I can see the logos just fine. It's showing me that the gi Giants are trailing by two touchdowns. Timmy Smith off tackle right now. I want to... Um, Medium pass to Ricky Sanders from the 19-yard line. Williams back to throw. He's got Ricky caught. 35-yard line. That worked. A gain of 17. Terry Kennard with a tackle. And the Redskins will go no huddle. So about 229. They're not going to run. McEwen on a short pass is the call from their own 36. Williams finds McEwen, and then will take us to the two-minute warning, I would think. It's a gain of five before Mark Collins can make the stop. Kelvin Bryan is down, so little brother Jamie Morris will come in. The oh, Doug Williams got clocked. I saw that plus 15, so the clock will stop. And the Redskins will get 15 more. So spot it at the Giant 44. With 2.21 to go in the half. It will be... A trap to Jamie Morris. Everybody has all three timeouts. Morris, the rookie, gets around to the 40. 35, and he'll be brought down... For an 11-yard gain, Leonard Marshall will make the tackle, and Joe on the sideline cringes at that. So Washington has done everything you can possibly ask here in the first half. So the offense is in a hurry up. A jumbo package, a medium pass. To, it's a weird play here. Bryant, Jamie says, was looking like he was going to be the player he was in the USFL in 88 but pretty much had what, a career-ending injury. So a medium pass to Olafin out of the backfield. They get it off. They do. Williams maybe didn't want to run around. Olafin can't get there, but Williams ran out of a sack. So second and ten, Harry Carson 
the defense and Kenny Hill is down and as the strong safety it's his hammy and Adrian White will come in Bernie says he uses the smaller players and so with two minutes to go We'll just take a look at these real quick. The Redskins have owned this football game. They have 13 first downs to four and have outgained the Giants 214 to 99. Doug Williams wasn't a fluke, 11 for 14 for 78 yards. So 156 to go. Medium pass to Allen is the call. Let's go to Clark. will be in motion. Redskins throwing into the window, by the way. Clark in motion. Williams back. He will throw down to Clark, who has it for a first down. A gain of 10. Adrian White coming in. So they go to him immediately after going in for Kenny Hill. Hurry up and effect short pass to Art Monk as they go into a hurry up offense. They have all three timeouts. Williams to Monk near side. He caught it and is pushed out of bounds for a gain of six. So Washington being very efficient. Six plays, 64 yards in just a minute 16. The ball is on the giant 17. Monk again on a medium pass is the call. Williams takes his time. Doug has all day to throw. Near sideline, the monk came back to count it. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. The Giants are taking an absolute paddling here. My goodness, Monk had to come back to that, spun around, and scored. So seven plays, 81 yards. Kelvin Bryant back. Yeah, Art Monk, the pride of Syracuse University. They did it in a minute 21 as well. Low Miller with the wind in his face. Converts the extra point. And with a minute 26 to go in the first half, it's Washington 24, the Giants 3. It's a high end over end. Taking it a deep by Gugamos, who will just take a knee. Jamie, who is a huge Redskin fan, is loving this. Kenny Hill, by the way, is recovered. Not sure it matters for the Giants. I don't even know what I call here. Sims gives it to Mo Carthon. Well, that'll that'll make everyone kind of happy here at the stadium. A three-yard gain, second and seven. Let's see. So the Giants are just going to let the clock run. Sims, uh, Washington calls time. So we'll change that. Screen to Mo Carthon from the 23. Sims has time near side to Carthon. Mo brought down. After a gain of four, it'll be third down and three for the Giants. They're in no hurry. Short pass to Baker is the call. And the Redskins will let the clock run. Sims trying to end the first half here. Almost sacked. Incomplete fourth down, and they will punt. So Buford with a win behind him now. 35 seconds to go. Gets this one away. 
And that will be taken by Shepard, who gets across to the 32. 48-yard punt, 7-yard return, and that should, well, as soon as I take a knee... Should do it. Victory formation for the Redskins. And now will do it for the first half. What a one-sided half of football. We'll show you the stats in a moment after the commercial, but at the half, it's 24-3, Washington. Well, that's as bad as one-sided of a football game as you can possibly get. The Redskins have outgained the Giants 245 to 106. Williams, 14 to 17 for 82 percent, 147 yards. Uh, yeah, Bill Parcells, I can't imagine Pesky Pole is a happy camper. They have run the ball well, including Ricky Sanders in that touchdown. Ricky Sanders has five catches for 53. They've just moved the football right along. Total offense, Ricky Sanders has 83 yards. And the Redskins, Okowitz leads with six tackles. And a sack. Mark Collins has five tackles for the Giants as we go the other way with it. Joe Morris is 70 yards. Bo Carthon is 12. I mean, just not a lot of offense here. Lionel Emanuel, two catches for seven yards. Morris, 11 carries for 28. And Sims, eight for 13, but only 86 yards. Parcells is trying to cook the dinner, but he was not allowed to shop at Pathmark for the groceries. So Washington will return to start the second half here. McFadden boots it deep in the end zone, and this will be a touchback. So off tackle right for Jamie Morris is the call here on first and ten. 24-3 Redskins as we start the third quarter. Morris brought down at the line by Harry Carsons. It'll be second and ten. So Jones, who is a third wide receiver, on a medium pass. Okay, near side formation. Jones up top. He should be in motion. He is. Williams, seven-step drop over the middle of Jones. And Jones... Kind of got tangled up with Mark Collins, and that's incomplete. Jamie says, might be the most accurate Williams ever was in a game. Of course, you still got the second half. This giant team is not made to throw the football 60 times. So third down and 10, Monk, four wide receivers. Monk is going to be all by his lonesome on a medium pass. So he's at the near side of your screen. Williams is flushed. He throws to Monk, and that is incomplete. Kenny Hill, coming off the injury, defended the pass, so the first three and out for the Redskins all day. So Greg Coleman stands on his three, gets it away. 
Giants should get good field position here. Bukaki with a fair catch at the 47. That is the Giants' best field position of the day. That wind is really strong. Coleman's punt was only 33 yards. So pitch left to Morris on first and 10. Yeah, we'll go with that. Sims is trying to get something going here. Morris tries to get around. He does over midfield. He won't get the first down, but it is a gain of seven before Barry Wilburn can make the tackle. Let's see. Pitch right on a trips. No. Stephen Baker on a hook. Second down and three. Baker all by himself at the top of the screen. Sims throws. Baker's got it. First down, 30. And he steps out of bounds wisely after a gain of 19. So first and 10 at the 27. So the Giants, with the wind at their back, trying to get something going. Morris pitch left, 13-23, or 12.58 to go. Sims to Morris, and Joe gets around the block, gets in the secondary, and gets a gain of eight. And that flag, you see, is going to be on Washington. Barry Wilburn with a tackle. Hold it. Oh, yeah, we take that. First and ten. From the 22, Bavaro on a sideline pattern. Sims flushed, sacked by Monty Coleman for a loss of four. The Giants forgot to block there. Joe Morris is indeed heating up. So second and 14 from the 26, and we'll give it to Morris out of a passing formation. Giants, three wide receivers up top now in motion. Give it to Morris, and Morris... Gets it to the 23 before Big Dave Butts can make the tackle. Third down and 11. Giants need seven out of this if they're going to try and come back. Lionel Manuel on a medium pass. Trip receivers. Manuel at the bottom of your screen. Sims throws. Caught. First down. Manuel goes to the far sideline and steps out after a gain of 17. Watch the route here. Manuel catches it on the near side, goes to the middle, and then tries to get out of bounds. He doesn't go forward. So it'll be... Morris to the right is the call from the six. He's got it. He turns the corner and gets nothing. Charles Mann will make the tackle. It'll be second and goal. They haven't done much on the ground. Carthon on us. Screen pass from the six goes to the far side, has it, and is stuffed immediately, if not sooner, by Dexter Manley for a loss of one. Turned the corner and got a face full of burgundy and gold helmet. So third down and goal from the seven. Morris, the lone setback. Bavaro on the cross. Medium pass. Sims has time. Now he doesn't. Going to run, and he scores. What a play. He escapes the rush and gets in there for the touchdown. I thought he was a goner. Steps around the sack and sniffs out the pay dirt. Touchdown, New York Giants. So eight plays, 53 yards. And Sims showing some leg. Not that you'd ever want to see that. 
So here's Paul McFadden to tack on the extra point. He's got a 93% chance, and that's good. So with 9.44 to go in the third quarter, it's the Washington Redskins 24, the New York Giants 10. So McFadden will kick it deep. Remember, this is going with the wind behind them. See if this is returnable. This will be returned by Jamie Morris in the goal line to the 10, 15, and is brought down at the 19. So Timmy Smith on a short pass? Why not? First and 10 from their own 19. They want Timmy Smith. And he'll find Timmy Smith, and Timmy got one yard. And from the 40s to the 90s, Tommy Dorsey's brother Eric makes a tackle for the Giants. Washington not in any hurry. Why are they throwing with a 14-point lead? Kelvin Bryant on a counter left. Two tight ends set for the Redskins. Give us to Bryant, gets some room, and gets about five before Mark Collins brings him down, third down and four. Almost halfway through the quarter, they'll stay in that formation. Ricky Sanders on a short pass, far side is the call. Williams can't find Sanders. Would you believe that? It went right through Ricky's hand. And who was it earlier that was talking about the accuracy of Doug Williams? At least in the third quarter, now the wind is in their face. Doug Williams is turning into a pumpkin. Gary or Greg Coleman will punt. 8.17 to go. Stands on his 8-yard line. Gets it away. That's a decent punt. Until it got caught up in the wind. Rolls dead after 31 yards. So the wind knocked that down. Giants have it first and 10 on their own 44. Joe Morris kind of right. Morris 14 carries, 38 yards. Sims gives it to Joe, waits for his block and gets about four or three before Butts can bring him down. 8.05 to go. Otis Anderson will come in, and he will go a pitch left. Power eye left, a Anderson in the backfield. Sims pitches it to him. Otis gets around the corner, gets a first down over the 40, hit at the 39. It's a gain of 13 before Alvin Walton can bring him down. So this game has kind of changed a bit in this complexion. The Giants have finally found their groove on the ground. Anderson now out of a pro eye, counter left. Carthen to block. Sims, man in motion. Give is to Anderson, who gets brought down by Okowitz after a gain of three. Hope you're enjoying Pro Strategy Football 24, our 1988 Week 1 Monday night game between the Washington Redskins, defending Super Bowl champion, and New York Giants. 24-10, Skins here in the third quarter. Far side short pass manual, Baker. Sims back to throw, has Baker incomplete. He dropped it. Daryl Green defended it, but Baker just dropped it, and Sims hangs his head, and Baker's down. Well, no wonder why he dropped it. He got his bell rung. Ding! So McConkey will be the split end. Hook and go. They want to go for it. They're going to go right to McConkey here. Anderson to block. McConkey the lone receiver. Man in motion up top. Sims has time. 
He goes for McConkie in traffic, and he dropped off his shoulder pad. Oh, baby. Daryl Green made the big stop. And now the Giants are going to punt with 6.04 to go. Giants tried to get something going and couldn't. Buford. Coffin corner kick here. Watch the shadow, and it will be a touchback. He got too much of it. So 44 yards, no return. And the Redskins, Baker had some smelling salts. Said it smelled like Himalayan pink salt. They're going to send him back in. 5.58 to go, third quarter. Redskins by 14. Bryant on a trap. Pass formation. Redskins need the clock to run. And Bryant is flattened at the line of scrimmage by Carl Banks. They got nothing there and will have to like it. Medium pass to Ricky Sanders. Okay. 5.19 to go. Williams is flush. Throws to Sanders and that's incomplete. So the Giants, you can just feel the momentum changing in this game. They're going to go four wide receivers, medium pass to Art Monk, who's on the bottom of your screen. Man in motion will go three wide down the bottom. Williams is all day. Finds Monk. Monk has a first down. What's he going out of bounds for? That might be a late hit. There's a flag down, and it's going to be on the Giants. And they'll decline it because it's a first down anyway. So the clock will start. Bryant off tackle right out of a pro set. First and ten for Washington. Bryant again is brought down for a one-yard gain. Second nine for the Skins. They've tried to rush it twice and gotten all of a whopping yard. So it'll be second and nine. Single setback is Bryant. And he will try a sweep. Man in motion, near side. Bryant at the far side. And Kelvin is brought down for a one yard gain, third and eight. So the Redskins have tried several times to run on the series, nothing doing. Power eye formation for Washington. Ricky Sanders on a bomb is the call. Williams, not pressured. Looks for it. Sanders has it for the first down. A gain of 18. Just when you thought they were going to be. The momentum was swinging back towards the Giants. No, sir. First and ten now for Washington. Power I. Another, yep, third down conversions. That's killed him. Timmy Smith on a trap. Williams, Wade, Smith. Again, Lawrence Taylor in his, in, in his ability to sniff out anything. Wink, wink. Brings Timmy Smith down just as he gets the football. It's a loss of one. Second and 11 for Washington. They want a screen pass to Bryant. We'll let that one go. 2.13 to go. Williams. Trip goes to Bryant. who fell. This has not been Kelvin Bryant's quarter, has it? Ow. So third down and 11. Clock stopped with 2.06 to go. Medium pass to... Allen. Okay. So four wide receivers. Allen is up top of your screen. Williams has it. Goes to his second read. Art Monk. And that's incomplete. And they wanted a flag and they're not going to get it. So the Redskins are going to be forced to punt. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Coleman stands on his 35. And McConkey returns it from his 15. Out to the 21. It's a gain of five. So 
So what's the play call? Long, they want the bottom of Lionel Manuel. Mo Karth on the block. Sims wants to shake it up a bit here. He's back, no pressure. Let's it go for Manuel downfield, and Lionel Manuel has it. A gain of 25, and who was it that said Barry will be burned? Here it is again. So the Giants, this has been a tale of two halves right now. And that's a gain of 25. Uh, Baker on a short? No. Morris running towards Bavaro on the... And he's got a big block of first down, and he's hit at the 40. It's a 13-yard gain. The Redskins were playing for the run, and in fact, they were keying on Morris. But Joe got a gain of 13. Once in a while, I kind of know what I'm doing. Morris on a sweep right. Morris is going to pitch right. All right. 39 seconds to go here in the third. Morris near side, 40, 35, 30. First down and more. Oh, what a good call that was. A 15-yard gain. And Joe Morris, as ever had said earlier, he's been heating up. And that will be the end of the third quarter. Or not. What did I call? Sims, I was told it was going to expire. Manual. They snuck that win in on me. <laughs> they told me it would be the end of the quarter. Or short pass to Manual, and that's a gain of seven. We've played 45 minutes here. The Giants are driving. It's the Redskins 24, New York 10. So what a good quarter. Jamie sees a giant comeback 31-27. Doug Williams is still throwing it for 65%. The Giants now have 233 yards. Sims, again, he just hangs in there. You know, with the one I've never a huge Phil Sims fan, but he just plugs away, plugs away, plugs away, and he's now 13 for 20. Stay tuned at the end of the game. We will quick sim everything else and show you highlights. So first and ten, or second and three for the Giants as we start the fourth quarter. Otis Anderson, off tackle right. We change ends from the 19. Anderson has, he's been short, isn't he? He got two. Needed three, got two. So third and one. You know, Sims was flashy, not and kind of boring, but was very dependable. You're absolutely right. Trap to Anderson, the call. The Giants need... Anderson on a screen from that tight formation. Let's see if that works. Sims waits, flushed. Anderson's got it, but brought down behind the line as offensive coordinator Ron isn't very good. Wilbur Marshall brings him down for a loss of two. Now, do you go for it or do you take the three? McFadden's chances here are 71%. I think you got to take the three. Let's see if anybody responds. 14-15, and the Redskins haven't moved the ball very well. I'm going to take the three. McFadden from 36. Good. Take the three vote. Yep. And McFadden does. So a good play drive by the Giants. Seven plays, 60 yards. 30 yards on the ground, 30 yards in the air. And now it's Washington 24, the Giants 13. McFadden to kick it deep. 
13.38 to go in regulation time. Kick is taken by Morris at the 8. Jamie over the 20. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. So it's a 21-yard return. Bryant on a short pass out of the backfield. Williams. Back. Bryant runs his route. Bryant's got it. It's a gate of three before Lawrence Taylor lowers the boob. Second down and seven. Bryant, another lone setback. Half tackle left is a call. Williams. Hands it to Bryant, gets a little bit of room, gets three before Eric Dorsey can make the tackle, third down and four. So this is a matriculation drive here. Short pass to Ricky Sanders is the call. All right, we'll go with it. Williams under center, 12-11 to go in the football game. Doug tries to go to Sanders, but he hit Carl Banks right in the back, and so it's a three and out. Redskin fans getting nervous. Yeah, I never liked Sims in the booth. Never, ever, ever. Coleman with a win behind him stands on his 20 and gets this one off. And this one is a high, high booming kick. Stephen Baker will call for the fair catch after a 49-yard punt. Giants take over. They trail by 11 on their own 15. 12 minutes to go. Baker on a long pass. Okay. So Sims will air it out here on first and 10. He is going to be brought down immediately by Daryl Grant. Watch the blocking here. It just didn't exist. And before Sims could even get set, he was tasting that tasty AstroTurf of Giant Stadium. So second and 16, that's a big play for the Washington defense for sure. Joe Morris on a screen from the nine. Okay. Jamie thinks the Redskins will win. Morris has it, gets to the 10, 15, 20, first down. Oh, Morris has all sorts of room. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. A 40-yard screen play. I almost changed out of that. Wow. Here it is again. <laughs> Sims just threw it over the lineman, and Joel Morris was just right there. The tackle didn't go, and Morris, once he got to the 20, he had all sorts of room. So it's a gain of 40 yards. Mo Carthon on a trap. Okay. 10.39 to go. I guess it's going to go to Maurice. And Mo is stood up at the line of scrimmage by Daryl Grant. So second down and 10 for the Giants. They still trail by 11. Screen to Morris again? Why not? Let's see if they learn their lesson. Sims. Near side, the far side to Morris, and Joe, he won't get a first down, but he will get seven, and the Giants are going to get a flag called against Washington. Let's see what the call is. It's a face pass. Defense. So Washington shooting themselves in the foot here. Medium pass to Bavaro is the call. First and ten from the Redskin 39. Sims under center, man in motion. Steps back, throws for Bavaro, and no. Alvin Walton got a hand in there, second and 10. 9.53 to go. Sims two for three in the drive for 47 yards. Morris on a line plunge out of a passing formation. Interesting call. 9.47, give is to Morris, and Joe is squished by Daryl Grant after a gain of one. So second and or third and nine now, 9.41 to go. Lionel Manuel as a wide receiver 
on a medium pass. That's the call. Manual's up top for you. Sims, seven-step drop. Manual runs his route. Has it first down. 20. He's brought down at the 16. Or the 17. Barry Wilburn again with a tackle. And if there's an M.O. for the Giants and Phil Sims is they just get it done. So a gain of 21. Seven plays for New York. 68 yards in three minutes. Carthon counter left. Bring in O.J. Anderson for that. From the 17, first and 10. It's Anderson and Morris. Give us to Anderson and O.J. Got a gain of three. Second and seven. Giants playing giant football. Medium pass to Lionel Manuel from the 14. Okay, near sideline. Sims looks toward is gonna gets around the sack. Goes for Manuel. Touchdown, Giants! But 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 it might come back. Sims worked his way around the sack. Let it go to Manuel, who made the catch at the one, and got in. However, who is the flag on? A lot riding on this. Oh, and so the Giants have made this a five-point game. Nine plays, 85 yards. Oh, boy, is right. If you guys left early, whoo-hoo. So McFadden to make this a four-point game. 7.47 to go. He had a 90% chance, and he does it. So although they couldn't do much on the ground, they did it in the air in style. So now the Redskins have to play this one out. And it's obviously probably going to be a touchback because McFadden will kick this from the 50. And Jamie Morris will just take a knee. So now Sims, 18 for 26 for 233. Yep, Redskins first half the best of times, second half the worst of times. Doug Williams has played a good game, but now the Redskins need to get away from their autumn of discontent. Tight end McEwen on a short pass is the call. Olafit and Bryant in the backfield. Flag is on the play, and somebody jumped for Washington. False start offense. So it'll be first and 15 for Washington. Bryant off tackle right. Williams. Bryant. Uh, the, there was no blocking there. Eric Dorsey will get credit for the tackle, but the Giants pretty much could take their drink order the second that Williams snapped the football. So it'll be second and 15. Single back. Bryant on the screen is the call from the 15-yard line. Williams waits, flush. Bryant's got it to the 20. He will stay in bounds. It's a gain of seven. Perry Williams with the tackle, and they'll spot it at the Washington 22. Be about six and a half to go. Single back for Washington. Medium pass to Gary Clark is the call. 6.34 to go in the game from the 22. Williams to throw. He gets around a defender, and Clark dropped it. You watch here at the end. That hit Clark right in the hands, and he couldn't come down with it. And this... 
Washington Redskins moment is brought to you by Maylox. When you're not sure what's going to happen, Maylox will help you. And by the package store of the Delmarva area. You need something to drink right now? Go to one of our package stores in Delaware, Virginia, Maryland, and D.C. Lawrence Taylor, by the way, is getting his ankle taped. Gary Reasons will come in for right outside linebacker. So Coleman with a win at their back can pin the Giants deep, but you can do anything you want with six and a half to go when you're trailing by four. That is a beautiful punt. This will be fielded by Stephen Baker at the 32. No return, no fair catch. So two blocks, a long pass to Baker. That's right, Everhat. This would be one of those Monday night football games that you first think you'll go to bed early, then you end up staying up the extra hour. Baker on a bomb is the call. Sims to Baker, wide open at the 49-yard line. It's a gain of 17. First and 10. Big hit on Baker, even the candlestick maker felt it. Ha, ha, ha. Morris on an off tackle right. Sims under center gives it to Joe, and he is stuffed by Okowitz for a loss of two. The Redskins, if we're going to go in the fairy tale thing, are hanging on by the hairs of their chinny chin chin. 5.39 to go. Morris on a screen pass. We'll go with it. It's work. Sims to the near side. Finds Morris over midfield. It'll be third and long as Daryl Green makes a stop after a gain of five. So third down and seven. Bavaro. On a medium pass. On a cross. Keep this over the middle of the field. Four and a half to go. Third down. Sims has time. He's got Bavaro for a first down. A gain of 15. Neil Olkowitz with a tackle. And Giant Stadium is coming alive with the sound of Giant football. Four twenty-three as they go into the huddle. Medium pass to line a manual. Okay, we'll do it. Sims back to throw. He looks for manual. First down and more. A gain of twelve. Bavaro always used to kill the Redskins. Someone I know bet heavily on Washington. We won't say who. And the Giants swept Washington in real life. Washington was not that great coming off the Super Bowl. And this was a good year for the Giants. 346, clock is stopped. Ball on the DC 21. Morris on the trap. Sims hands off to Joe. Has room and Joe takes it to the 15, 16 yard line. Second and five. Giants now are going to milk some clock. Morris on a screen. I think we've gone to that well one too many times. Morris on a pitch to the right. 308 to go. First and second and five. Morris runs around. Does he get it? No. He gets four. Charles Mann with the tackle. Lawrence Taylor, if the Redskins get the ball back, will be ready for him. Again, absolutely no hurry. Jumbo formation for for New York.
Mo on a line plunge. Third and one from the 12. Yeah, there was a play in, in Tech Mobile that Bo Jackson could never be stopped. So everyone jamming the line now. Give to Mo. First down, Giants. He got it. First and 10. Clock is running. Morris off tackle right. And the Washington defense is exhausted. Will they get the playoff? No, they don't. Two minutes to go in the football game. The Redskins need a stop, and they need it right now. Somewhere along the line, the Giants just took over this football game. And if you want to know maybe the key stat, the Giants have had 14 third downs, converted seven. Washington has had 11, and they've only converted three. So Morris, off tackle left, first and 10. Yeah, I would, Bo, Bo was pretty good. That Jim Brown guy, I guess, was pretty good, too. My dad loved him. Two tight end set, jumbo package, first and 10, two minutes to go. It will be Morris, and Joe gets a block down to the eight-yard line, or the nine-yard line, second down. And the Giants, no one has used a timeout in this game. Power eye right. Morris, 22 carries, 79 yards. 124 to go. Morris to the five. Obviously four down territory. Brought down to seven by Monty Coleman. Game turn Giants way starting with the second half kickoff. No hurry here. Lavaro in the end zone is the call. They got two shots here from the seven. 46 seconds left. Sims wants Bavaro. He's going to get sacked. He's going to get sacked. It's a loss of five. Charles Mann. And they're breathing a bit easier now in D.C., but it's fourth and ball game now. And the Giants will call time with 42 seconds to go. What's the call on 4th and 11? Odessa Turner or Mark? I, I want Mark Ingram. So Ingram on a medium pass from the Washington 12. It's the Redskins 24, the Giants 20. 42 seconds to go. Ball game right here. Sims waiting. Has all day. Throws. Touchdown, Mark Ingram. But hold the phone. Hold the phone. We'll show you the play, but that's what you see. There's a penalty. My goodness, this comes down to a penalty call on 4th and 11. Sims had the time. Ingram ran his route in the end zone and scored. But who's the flag on? It's There's a lot riding on this. And the Giants have pulled ahead. Phil Sims, he's counting to see where he is. He thinks he's in Tennessee. The Giants are going to kick off from midfield. The real life game, the Giants won 27-20 with a 14-point comeback in the fourth quarter. Gardner was watching Jimmy the Greek who took the Redskins. Ingram, 12 plays, 68 yards, 12-yard pass. Big extra point here. Washington can win with a field goal if McFadden misses. And he doesn't. So the Redskins can tie this. 
with 37 seconds to go. Giants will boom it. Clock won't start until it comes out of the end zone and then there's a touchback. So a long pass to Monk is the call. Washington trails by three. They have 37 seconds and all three timeouts. They'll need a snowball chance from H.E. Double Hockey Sticks to tie it. I don't know what Low Miller's range is, but you got to figure they need 50 yards. William Monk, the receiver, is the one they want. Williams throws. He goes in the direction of Monk, who's open, and no. Terry Kennard got up the hand at the last second. Let's watch it in real time. That should have been caught. They got the wind at their back, but they got to get it to midfield. Long pass to Monk again as they go four wide. Williams, 30 seconds to go. All three timeouts. Over the middle, Monk's got it. To the 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 26 yard line. An answered prayer from 53 yards and now they're in field goal range. May not be sure about Doug Williams, but you can be sure about Art Monk. The weather report from Satan is getting very cold. 53 yards. They call time. Art Monk. They're not going to run it here. Okay, we got to be a little bit better about the AI here. You're not running it. You want to try for the win. Clark on a square out. 22 seconds to go. Right now, with the wind behind you, you got a 71% chance of sending this game to overtime. Watch Gary Clark. Williams has all day. Goes up top and Perry Williams intercepts it to ice it for New York. Where in the world was Doug Williams throwing the football? There wasn't a Redskin receiver or 10 yards of that. Reunsub sub is not a word. So the Giants are going to hang on to beat Washington here in one of the wackiest finishes. It remarkable is right and dramatic. Sims is just going to fall on it. That was a remarkable football game. I'm assuming that Washington will call time. Yep. They have one left. We will go and do the rest of the week in, in a moment. Five seconds to go. This just in, but the AI is saying, I told you so on the play call. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. So the Giants are going to go to 1-0. and The Redskins lose. I, I, who the hell is he throwing to? And so the Giants come from behind to beat the Redskins by the score of 27-24. And Phil Sims is your Digital Dice MVP, 23 for 31. 294 yards, two touchdowns, a pick, and 16 first downs. The Giants just, wow.
And Williams said the Giants in two and a half. Yeah, it might be the lead game on George Michael's sports machine. Joe Morris, 23 carries, 81 yards. Lionel Manuel, eight catches for 103. Joe Morris, four for 94. Which is why Joe Morris had 175 net yards. Lawrence Taylor had six tackles, two stuffs. Okay, Neil Oklowitz had 13 tackles for Washington. Dave Butts had nine. Kelvin Bryant had 89 yards. Art Monk, 109 yards in the air. I thought when Monk had that, he was going to score. Ricky Sanders, 6 for 71. Kelvin Bryant, 16 carries for 59 yards. And Doug Williams, again, the numbers look all right. But I don't know who the heck he was throwing to at the end. All right, let's sim these and watch some highlights. We start in Buffalo, Minnesota and Buffalo. And, ooh, Minnesota by two. Second half, Jamie says, Williams was six for 14. So the winning score here. Buffalo, by the way, had 21 points in the fourth quarter. Buffalo took the lead in this one. Kelly to Burkett for the touchdown. And so Buffalo was actually up 24-23. But here's Chuck Nelson to win the ball game. Two seconds to go. Minnesota wins. You know what? We've been at this an hour and 47. Let's do one more. So, who would we want to do for you to game tomorrow? Chris? Let's show you some highlights from the Jets and the Patriots. Jets won 20 to 10 in a moderate rain. Doug Flutie was our starter. All right, let's start with this. An interception by Roland James. 3-3 at the time. James makes the interception. And then here comes the touchdown. Flutie to Reggie Dupard. Touchdown Patriots to make it 10-3. That was the high watermark for New England. Flutie, 9.23 to go in the third quarter, going for, and he's picked off by Bobby Humphrey. After a long drive, O'Brien to Roger Vick, that ties the game up at 10. And with 3.21 to go in the third quarter, Doug Flutie back to throw again. He's going to be picked off by Tim Benson, or Troy Benson. And then this is probably the winning score. 3.07 to go. O'Brien back to throw. He goes over the middle for Wesley Walker. And he will score. And that will do that. And so the Jets go on to win 20 to 10. I want to do one more game. I'm not going to do it tonight. Where does San Francisco play? No bye weeks. Oh, they'll go to New Orleans. So we'll do that one for you maybe tomorrow and let the studio run and show you all that. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this. This was fun. The final score... The Giants 27, the Redskins 24. I'm Ron Juckett. If you like this, please let me know, and we'll do this. This was an exciting game. And so until then, we'll talk to you tomorrow around noon Eastern, let's say, 
for the Niners and the Saints from the Superdome. Have a good night, everybody.